less than a Regan. This is a, a special day uh, for the family. It's a special day for our city. It's a special day for our country. My name is Mark LaPlante. I'm a city councilor here in Lawrence. And one of my passions recently has been World War I. And one of my passions is trying to tell the story of our fellow soldiers and sailors, and military officials who died in World War I, who gave their life for us. And somebody out of those 200 decided there was 35 of them who were going to get a bridge, a building, a square, or a park named after him. This is one of the 35, Augustine Regan. We have a very, we have a lot of dignitaries here today, a lot of special people who are here to be a part of this. I want to recognize right now, we have two former mayors who are with us. Mayor Kevin Sullivan is here, and Mayor Michael Sullivan is here. We have the current fire chief, Brian Moriarty, and the, and the previous fire chief, uh, Richard Schaefer, is here today. We also have some of our finest firefighters, not only in the Commonwealth, but throughout the country here. The Lawrence Fire Department is here today. We also have here, he doesn't expect this, former school committee member, Ralph Carrero is with us. So I'd like to invite, to start off our, our day, I'd like to invite Sister Ann Regan from the Sisters of Charity of Halifax to begin the Pledge of Allegiance. Sister? And I'm sorry, that was my bad. I got nervous. That is the invocation. We have somebody else for the, for the Pledge of Allegiance. Go ahead, Sister. Good and gracious God, as we gather today, the 100th anniversary of Augustine Regan's death at the end of World War I. We are mindful of his sacrifice and those of countless others who have died in the service of our country. Realizing that Gus Regan was perhaps the last person from Lawrence to die as the battle neared an end, we ponder the sad reality of war and the toll that it takes on those who make the ultimate sacrifice as well as those whose ensuing loss and grief are life-changing and can never be measured. Help each of us here today to grow in tolerance, kindness, and commitment to the ideals of our great country. Inspire us to appreciate all we've been given and stir us to foster peace wherever possible. I end with a quote that I heard last week at a local temple where we gathered in solidarity after the horrific events in Pennsylvania. It comes from the Talmud, the Jewish book of prayer. Do not be daunted by the enormity of the world's grief. Do justly now. Love mercy now. Walk humbly now. You are not obligated to complete this work, but neither are you free to abandon it. Amen. This day would not be a special day if it wasn't for the many family members that are here today to remember Augustine or Gus Regan. One of them I'm asking right now to come forward. His name is Jim Regan to lead us, please, in the Pledge of Allegiance. You have a flag right in front of us. If you'd all stand and face the flag of the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jim. At this point, I want to invite the city council that represents this area on Tower Hill Somebody who was very instrumental in being a partner in trying to make this square happen along with force with the family. I want to invite uh, City Council Vice President Giovanni Rodriguez to say a few words. 
Thank you everybody, thank you Mark for uh, uh, making this happen. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you to the family, thank you to the fire, fire department, thank you to the police department, uh, the DPW, and thank you to uh, the youth build organization that helped us out to, to put this together on the rotary and on the square, as well as everybody that was involved in this project. Three years ago when I joined the city council, this, uh, this square in the rotary was a little bit of a, of a mess and we, we decided to take this project uh, very personal and, and today we've seen the result. Thank you to the administration and thanks to uh, everybody that was involved on getting this done. Now the square has been adopted by the, by the Regan family and the rotary is being maintained and, and keep up with uh, through the youth build program and the organization. Thank you everybody, thank you for being here. I don't want to talk about the history, but I want to talk about what is currently here. And I highly appreciate everybody's help. And I'm very help, I'm very thankful for everything that has happened here. Thank you. At this time, I want to invite Don Silva with the DAD. What many of you may not know is that the Disabled American Veterans was an organization that was formed right after the conclusion of World War I. There was no World War II at that point, so everybody knew it, it, knew it as the Great War. And so the DAD has got a very strong link to the, the loves of the Great War and obviously the sacrifice that was made by Augustine Regan and those others from Lawrence. Gone. I want to thank you for this opportunity to uh, be part of this uh, dedication, which uh, today I can say probably I am now a, a relative of the Reagan family <laughs> because of my uncle was John Reagan. But the thing is, uh, we formed in 1922 after all the veterans returned. And of course, as, as you know, the, the biggest item was the Lawrence Football Stadium that was named for World War I veterans. And uh, we're here today to support the Reagan family and to give thanks to uh, Mark LaPlante for making this possible and all the family that participated. Thank you. We have a couple of other dignitaries that are here with us. I just want to recognize, we have Director of DPW, Carlos Hackers, that is here today. And the police chief, Roy Basque, is here today. Thank you, gentlemen, for being a part of this and for helping both with the traffic control as well as helping with what's going on here. What I would like to do now is, if you are related to Gus Regan, would you please raise your hand? Raise your hand. Let's see who's here from the family. Don, you can raise it. Go ahead. <laughs> look at that. Look at the legacy. Look at the legacy that this man had, his family had, to give their life, and now their family is here to remember him. That's powerful. That's moving. And thank you for being a part of us. And thank you as a, as a representative of the city of Lawrence for your ultimate sacrifice, for having your loved one be here. On that vein, I want to invite Peter Caesar to join us as, as a member of the family to say a few words and how special this day is to him and a little, so we can learn a little bit more about Gus. Peter. Uh, first, our family would like to express the warmest thanks to Mayor Rivera, members of the City Council, to the Lawrence Police and Fire Department, and, uh, and to Lawrence Prospera for their help with the rededication of Augustine Dennis Regan Square. A special thank you is in order for Councilor LaPlante, who gave much in the way of encouragement and advice as our family sought to commemorate the centennial of Gus's passing. He has also done a great service in memory of the city's veterans with his World War I project. Also, our gratitude goes to Councilor Rodriguez for his help with planning and site visits, 
and uh, with the DPW's Carlos Jaquez as our rededication efforts gained steam. He then guided our family in adopting the square, and I'm pretty sure he had something to do with the involvement of Lawrence Prospera Youth Programs, who covered the square in June with new plantings and a nice thick mulch, making it look better than it had at any time in our memory. Keep up the good work. There's no limit to what you can accomplish. Also wanted to thank EJ Paving. They were very busy, as you might imagine, um, since the events of this past December, helping to put Lawrence back together. Uh, but they did find the time to put in this nice little walkway leading up to the plaque. So I want to thank them. Um, and also to my son, uh, Sean Caesar, who designed the plaque that will soon be unveiled. And of course, most of all, our thanks to Jim Regan, who found an old family scrapbook and had the great idea of placing it in the capable hands of Louise Sandberg at the Lawrence Public Library. It's Jim who's truly the father of this initiative. So as we come together, we remember another coming together way back in 1917. Then as now, the children of the immigrant city were among the first to answer the call to arms. Many from the Tower Hill neighborhood, friends in work and play, volunteered shortly after our country entered the war. They were surely patriotic. Their families had found a measure of acceptance and prosperity in this new city. From all, and they had come from all over the world. If these men were adventurous, they knew the grave nature of war, as millions of lives had already been lost in Europe during the previous three years. One of those one of those volunteers was Augustus, Augustine Dennis Regan. He was the grandson of Dennis Regan, born in County Tipperary Island, one of the first Irish immigrants to settle in Lawrence during the Great Famine in 1851. Gus was the son of Dennis Francis Regan and the former Gertrude Drennan. He grew up around the corner at 56 Greenwood Street, uh, was a clerk at MF Lane's store on Essex Street, and played end for the West End Football Club. He was in Company K of the 23rd Infantry Regiment, along with six of his friends, who chose to serve together. All of them are named on this plaque. They were known as the West End Boys. Their families shared their letters home with the Daily Eagle, so friends all over the city could have news of their trials and triumphs. They fought alongside the Marine Brigade in the famed 2nd Infantry Division and played a large part in the final victory. This came at a great cost. In just over five months of heavy combat, over 50,000 Americans were killed in five months, and over 200,000 were wounded. Half of these casualties occurred in the last six weeks alone. Such a bloodletting such a sacrifice. All of the West End boys in Company K were either wounded or killed. The last to give his life was Augustine Regan 100 years ago, this day. We'll always remember the sacrifice of Gus and his friends and all of you have borne the battle for this great city, commonwealth, and country. God bless them all. Thank you very much, Peter. And thank you to your family, all of you that are here today to remember this, and that was very, very fitting. Thank you. Um, I want to recognize one person, and after this, uh, feel free to, uh, to approach her. My name is Louise Sandberg. Louise, where are you? Raise your hand. Louise? Louise, I know you're here. Where are you? 
Louise Sandberg is around here somewhere because I just saw her, but with her is a scrapbook that Peter was referencing. So I'm sure she'd be willing and happy to show you several of the pictures, some of the newspaper clippings. So feel free to uh, just to tap her shoulder afterwards and to uh, take a look at some of the, um, take a look at, uh, of, um, of Gus's face. I'm sure it's gonna be on here as well, but also some of his story. At this time, um, at this time I'd like to invite the family, Jim, Peter, Giovanni, um, to do the unveiling of the of the uh, of the sign, and I want to thank again the Regan family for the donation for the contribution for making this. I will say that there is another sign here, but thanks to uh, Council Vice President, the Mayor, and the rest of our colleagues on the City Council, we are going to be redoing these signs. So next year, with the help of Carlos Hackett and the DPW, we'll see a much different sign here as well, and we'll see them throughout the city. But if you don't join me now, we'll just do the, um, the unveiling. Three, two, one. I want to thank you all very, very much on a personal note. In about three hours, I'm heading to France. I'm oh. heading, yes, I know you want me out of the city, Rich, I know, but I'm heading, out of, I'm heading to France for five days to see the armistice locations, the various battlegrounds, and so this is a heck of a send off for me personally. I'm so glad to be a part of this. And thanks again to the Regan family. Thank you all for coming. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Yeah. Hey, Mark. 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 Hey, Mark